Hey guys, welcome to day three of my 12 days of Christmas vlogging. And today's Sunday, I'm at the mall. One of the malls, the better of the two malls. And I'm going in to go to Hallmark and to Bath and Body Works because I have coupons and gift cards and it's after Christmas sale time. And there are like 8 billion people here. 8 billion, give or take a few. But yeah, this parking lot is crowded. I managed to uh, lurk around and get somebody pulling out and get relatively close. But uh, And it's really cold out, but I wore a lighter jacket because once you get in there, then it's hot. And I didn't want to lug a coat around. And we are due to get a huge snowstorm, blizzard, ice, all kinds of stuff starting tomorrow morning. So this is kind of the last nice day and get out and get what you want to get done before you're snowed in for a while. So let's go shopping. our super exciting mall. Some stores are empty. This is your typical standard American mall, nothing special here. But it's better than no mall at all, I guess. And I think I'll take the elevator. Look over here. Let's get on the carousel. There's where I'm headed, Hallmark. Christmas decorations. I want bargains. Let's vlog the elevator ride. Unless somebody gets on with me, then I'll turn it on. Okay, what's that? Ride a weird giant plush pony. Oh, that's interesting. Okay then. Oop, time to get on. Ooh, yay. What floor should we go to? How about the only other option? <laughs> Here's a ride. It's just like being at Disney World. Wee! Anyone, time to go down. Hello, standing here. Not moving. What's the problem? Let me push it again. Now we're going. Oh. It's a pretty carousel. At least it brings some people in to the mall. Are the malls dying in your area? Around here, they're building all these strip malls and all the mall stores are moving to them. But this mall's still hanging on at least. Except for that store, which is now empty. But, time to go to Hallmark. I'm just gonna keep filming because you know why not. I wonder how long these gumballs have been sitting in here. Hmm. 2004, maybe? Where are my half price ornaments? I bet they're only 40% off. Are they? Maybe? Nope. Yay! Time to shop. Got some good deals at Hallmark. I'll do a haul when I get home. There's a train going by. Um, and now I'm going to go upstairs to uh, Bath and Body Works. Santa's gone. Our JC Penney's closed last year. It's depressing. They put a Goodwill in here. Isn't that weird? You have a Goodwill in your mall. They're building another store, a standalone store. So that's a temporary one for this area. Yep, my friends own that store persona down there. But, I'll head upstairs now. Oh, the escalator's not on, you have to walk. That's actually okay. Because escalators frighten me, and now it's just like stairs. Wow, that's one good. La da dee da 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 dee da da was exercise for the day. Yonkers. Do you have Yonkers in your area? It's kind of like Macy's, I think. It's similar to that. You now go to Bath and Body Works, 75% semi-annual sale. Up to 75%, we'll see. 
Okay, I gotta turn my camera off because they're like hawks in here. Well, I did some damage in there. I had a gift card and a coupon, but I still spent 53 bucks out of pocket, but I am stocked up for the year. And now I'm gonna head home. I don't know, you know, Bath and Body Works, you go into some stores and they just completely ignore you and that's annoying. But you can go to Bath and Body Works and they're like on you the whole time you're in there. You find everything, you find everything you need, you find it. Yes! I walked in and the one lady like had to tell me every single thing that was on sale. I'm like, the lady, it's a clearance sale. The whole store's on sale. Back off! And then every time I turn around, she'd be there. You find everything you need? You find everything you need? Then they ask you up at the front, is any particular clerk helping you so I guess maybe they're working on commission too or tracking their progress I don't know but I'm like could you just back off ah, anyway now time to head on home and like I said I will do a haul video me a little stop at the Dairy Queen before heading home I am addicted to these double chocolate cookie dough blizzards I don't even really like ice cream I haven't had ice cream in ages but I took my dad to get a cone one night after dinner and I saw this on the menu. I was like, oh, let me try that. Oh, my gosh, they're so good. Don't get them because you will just want them all the time. And then I got my dad a shake. I got him a caramel shake. Never gotten one of those, but I thought maybe he would like that. So now we're heading home. How's your peanut butter Kong, Luli? Is it good? Yeah. How's your caramel shake, Dad? Is it good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like it better than a chocolate shake? About the same. About the same. Well, that's good. Max, how do you like your peanut butter Kong, buddy? Huh? Is that good? Is that good? Aww. Look at you. Cutie. So here are the things I got at Hallmark. Everything was 50% off. I got the Easy Bake Oven ornament. I didn't even see this originally, so I was happy to find that. Uh, they only had two peanuts ornaments left. I collect the Charlie Brown Christmas. Um, maybe they would have had more yesterday, but that's okay. I Like I said, I find them sometimes at estate sales. So I got the 50th anniversary Snoopy Dog House and this Woodstock one. And then I got these miniature ornaments. I ordered the miniature uh, tree online as well as one of the, uh, it was a little Santa mug. Uh, but then I got these in store, the camper, the little cozy coop, little sweet shop box ornament and the mobile pet grooming so cute and to go with the mini ornaments I got some mini ornament hooks so I had a $25 gift card six dollars in coupons and then another $20 uh, from my dogs <laughs> to pay for all of these so super happy um, put them away for next year and here is my haul from Bath and Body Works the three wick candles were ten dollars except for this one was 75% off. Um, so they're regularly $22.50. So half off of these and whatever, 75% off <laughs> for this one. But this is a lemon, the marshmallow fireside, apple pumpkin pancakes, and praline pecan cobbler. I, you know, usually just have my scentsy stuff going, but uh, just been kind of drawn back to candles after not having candles for a very long time, so thought I'd give these a go. I got one of the vanilla Bean Noel sprays. I think this was $3 or $3.50. There was, you know, the signs would say 75% or another bin would be $3 or another bin would be $3.50. So um, I think mainly it works out to 75% of everything. So anyway, uh, vanilla Bean Noel body spray. A vanilla bean noel lotion a warm sugar vanilla or warm vanilla sugar lotion some body wash sweet cinnamon pumpkin jingle all the way which i don't know what this is ice clementine sparkling snowflakes north pole vanilla holiday poppies and blue spruce I don't know. uh and then twisted peppermint then a lot of soaps the soaps were three dollars a new york big apple sparkler Two of the bourbon street buttercream. One's a foaming and one's a regular. I like the foaming the best, but then I saw this. So I thought, well, I'll get that too to try it. Uh, the rest are foamings, I think. Yeah. Uh, we have London Tea Time Shortbread. Santa Suds Ho Ho Honey Crisp. Oh Snap Jolly Gingerbread. Watermelon Lemonade and Lemon Chiffon. And then up at the register, they had 
these antibacterial hand sprays. You know, they usually have the little pocket back antibacterials, which I'm not a big fan of, but I love. They used to have pumps, would be a foaming pump, uh, but then these are sprays, and I just like that better, being able to spray your hands than have a bunch of gel goo on you. So I got a warm vanilla sugar and a fresh market apple, and these were $3. And then a little a coupon for, I don't think this is good till January after the sale's over, uh, but looks like those are the new fragrances that will be coming out soon. So anyway, yeah, that is my haul from Hallmark and Bath & Body Works. Let me know if you've been out doing any after Christmas shopping, if you've gone to Hallmark, Bath & Body Works, any other stores, leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of deals you found. What you looking at, Lucy? You like to look out the window, don't you? Yeah. You're the watchdog. See any danger, you get him, okay? You bark and bite. Yeah, you're a ferocious little girl. Aren't you? Max, you tired? Get a good nap now. Gonna get to take a nap now, Dad? Uh -oh. Taking a nap? Uh -oh. I'm making my slow cooker lasagna tomorrow, but tonight I'm gonna make the sauce for it, save some time because the sauce simmers for about an hour and a half. And then tomorrow it takes about four hours for it to cook in the slow cooker. So just to cut a step out tomorrow, making the sauce tonight. Um, making your own sauce sounds super hard, but it's really so, so, so easy. Uh, the recipe for this one's on my blog. I'll link it below. It's just ground beef, sweet Italian sausage, some crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, sugar, salt, pepper, garlic, I use the jarred stuff, and the greatest invention in the world, chopped onions that I get in a bag in the freezer section. So no chopping onions, because my eyes water like crazy. So I'm going to go ahead, get this started, even though the meat's been defrosting, it's still a bit frozen, but we'll take care of that in quick order. To make my sauce, I use a Dutch oven big red one here. I got this several years back at Sam's Club. I'll see if there's a similar one like it on Amazon. I'll link it below. I mean, I'm sure there is. You can get these everywhere. Um, so to start, I have my ground beef and my sweet Italian sausage, and I am browning them up. Since the meat was still a bit frozen, I had to break it down. Now that it's broken down, I added in the onion and the garlic, and yes, I use a lot of garlic because I like a lot of garlic. Woo, we're steaming up. Now I'm going to continue to brown this up. Now that the meat's browned, I'm going to add in the tomatoes, sugar, salt, pepper, and some water. So now all the ingredients are mixed together. I'm going to cover this and turn the temperature down to low and let it simmer for an hour and a half. And then when it's done, I'll put it in the fridge and it'll be all ready for when I make my lasagna tomorrow. If you haven't been over to my blog lately or you're completely new to it, um, cnsave.com at the top here is a recipes tab. You click on that, it's gonna take you to the recipes section where I have quite a few of my recipes on here. You can see here under the entrees, there's my homemade pasta sauce, the uh, slow cooker lasagna or world's best lasagna in the crock pot, Lots and lots of desserts. <laughs> so again, I will link the uh, pasta sauce below this video so you can go and check that out. And just a reminder that I do have a second channel that I recently created, CN at WDW, where I'm putting all of my Walt Disney World vacation content. I've had a lot of questions about where the videos went. They used to be on this channel. I am in the process of moving them to this channel. This channel is just for Disney World videos. So 2014 is already up and I'm now getting the recent videos for my 2015 vacation. Here you can see um, my trip planning, my packing, and then just today I uploaded day one, part one. So that is now up. So if you want to watch them again, what is this? I do not want to renew my security right now. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want to watch the videos again, please do. If you missed them the first time around, they are now here. I would love to have you guys go over to this channel and subscribe. It's tough starting a new channel. Let me tell you, I am at 330 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed thus far. 
I have over 9,000 subscribers on this channel, so I'd love for more of you to go over um, and subscribe to this channel. The link to it is below, and you can go over there and start watching vlogs from my most recent trip. I'm uploading videos on Sundays, so next Sunday you'll get day one, part two, and so on and so forth. And then once all of these videos are up, I should be home from another Disney World vacation with brand new footage. So just know that in addition to all the videos that are already up, the ones that are coming, brand new videos that no one has ever seen uh, will be uploaded to this channel in the future. So again, please go over subscribe. Okay, that's my pathetic begging for the day. Um, and with that, I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. If you like the 12 Days of Christmas vlogging, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.